This here document is a top secret internal training manual from Google, leaked to us by an insider who was sadly taken by bad humor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's true. Google is run by penguins. This is Google's search evaluator guideline. It's used to train, or guide rather, their search quality raters. It sheds light on many a Google mystery. Some obvious, some cryptic. One of my favorite concepts they put into practice is called YMYL. What is YMYL? Your money, your life. Any page that presents content that might impact a reader's health, happiness, safety, or financial stability is considered YMYL. For example, when you search on Google about that persistent cough, or recommendations on buying a house, or how to file your taxes, or what to wear on a first date, Google wants you to have professional advice, the best advice. The imperative is that the user is not led astray, like you have 24 hours to live because of that cough you just Googled. A YMYL page is serious business, and Google doesn't play around. Here's what Chief Penguin has to say about this in the guideline. We have very high page quality rating standards for YMYL pages because low quality YMYL pages could potentially negatively impact a person's happiness, health, financial stability, or safety. We will find you and pluck out your eyelashes one by one. Well, I was just kidding about that last bit, but you get the point. This 200 page document is frequently updated and it relays the content standards a site should maintain to rank well. Google uses these quality rater guidelines to train their quality evaluation team to bridge the gap between user intent and search results accuracy. Here's what John Mueller, or as we call him here, Papa Penguin, has to say about the quality rater evaluator might be perceived by, by the quality raters. The quality raters don't make the algorithms, uh, but they do give us a lot of insight into what, what we might do in our algorithms. So I, I would strongly recommend going through that. Now, it doesn't indicate how the Google algorithm works exactly, but it does shine a flashlight on where it aims to go with content quality. So are YMYL pages getting more difficult to rank? Well, there is no direct evidence, but a study by Barry Schwartz from Search Engine Land shows that the Broadcore algorithm update in 2018 impacted 42% of websites related to health, medical, fitness, and lifestyle. Barry termed it as the medic update, since the major impact was on the health niche. So our YMYL page has scrutinized more. Well, it seems like it for medical content, Here's Mueller again. I think especially when it comes to medical content, I, I think that's super important that our algorithms are very picky there with regards to what we show. So if it's super important for algorithms to be picky, does the algorithm differentiate between YMYL content and non-YMYL content? When asked if energy supply and telecommunications for households were under YMYL, I, I think for, for things like this, on, on the one hand, we, we don't have this like hard-coded inner algorithms that we try to look out for these specific kinds of pieces of content. So it's, it's not something where we would have an absolute answer. And? But what I would do is look at the, the quality rater guidelines and see what, what kind of sites they're talking about there. OK, if we look at the guideline, the niche at the bottom of the list is labeled Other. And it states, please use your judgment. Ha, huh. quite helpful. Now let's make it even more confusing. So what happens to websites with both YMYL and non-YMYL pages? I think if you have a website that covers very sensitive topics as well as very trivial topics, then it's always going to be challenging for Google's algorithms to figure out how to deal with that website. A little inconclusive. You're unsure about YMYL, and you find out that YMYL is unsure about you. I guess that's why they're called guidelines instead of rules. 
So what can we do to slice through the clutter? Well, there's nothing you can do but eat. E-A-T. It refers to your content having expertise, authority, and trust. And it's considered one of the key factors on how Google evaluates the quality of a web page. Let's segue to Mueller. Uh, anything that's a little bit more critical, I would also keep in mind everything around uh, the so-called EAT. Uh, so the expertise, authority, authoritativeness, trustworthiness. Um, and uh, to kind of make sure that the, the site that you're providing represents like a really high standard. And these standards can be found in the quality guidelines right here. Bottom line, if you create content in any of the YMYL niches, be prepared to have your content heavily scrutinized. And if you see a drop in rankings, you know what to do. And if you want to learn more about EAT, we made an awesome video. Check it out. If you don't subscribe, just remember, we'll come after your eyelashes. Pluck, pluck. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or give us some feedback or just say hi. Hi.